was the day I wanted to talk to you guys. Wanted to give like a story time. This story time is gonna be about my delivery with my baby. My baby girl, Olivia. That caused me to have to have a drinky ass to me. So stay tuned. During this story time, I'm also going to include some pictures. The pictures are not very disturbing, but it is going to kind of show you guys something that was going on throughout my pregnancy and delivery. And also, it's not disturbing, so it's nothing that you have to like turn away from. I'm not going to show a picture of me with a whole bunch of tubes or anything like that, but it's just going to add to the story. So here we go. Okay, so sometime in October of 2017, I started my husband went out of town to see family around October the 28th, uh, it was October the 20th, somewhere around that time, I developed this strange rash. It was a strange rash on my face, I could not understand where this rash was coming from. I put the ointment, I put everything on this rash to try to get rid of it, but it would not go away. So I remember going to the hospital, well, I remember going to my doctors and kind of asking about this rash. I didn't know where it was coming from, and I believe he said I had something to the fact of an infection in my eye and to take some medicine or these drops for the infection. It did not work. It actually felt like it was getting worse. So, my mom, my, um, my husband, when he came back, and we, everybody was getting, like, seriously worried about, like, what is this rash on my face? Um, it looked it kind of like a butterfly, so I was, like, looking for autoimmune diseases and stuff like that, and my hospital was telling me something about, um, an allergic reaction. Now, during this time, I was dieting. I was, um, but I wasn't eating anything unusual. Uh, but the rash just kept being there, and then all of a sudden, it disappears. So, I had no clue where this rash was coming from. Um, it was just, it was just there. Two weeks later, I was at work, and I was on my way home from work. I worked at midnight as a PTT, and I was on my way home when I passed up a coffee shop. I passed up this coffee shop, and instantly I felt nauseated. I it, the coffee smelled like it was burning. It felt, it smelled disgusting. Now... Take the note that I have been going to this, passing up this coffee shop every single day. When I go home from work, I always pass it up. So, this one particular specific time, this coffee smelled disgusting. So, I was like, oh my god. Something's not right. So, I went to... The Dollar Tree to get a pregnancy test because, okay, nothing. I never, ever smell something that disgusting, and nothing makes me like that unless I was pregnant. So I went to the, the Dollar Tree, yeah. Clearest day. I was pregnant. I was wondering how I became pregnant because I was on a birth control and I couldn't figure it out, but I believe what happened was because.
because I was born here for my eye and the infection of my face that I could have gotten pregnant around that time. So I sent my husband the pictures of me being pregnant and he was so excited and I really, okay, I did not really want to be pregnant, but a baby is a blessing, so it took me a little bit, but I was super very excited as well. So, this is what started my pregnancy journey, and it was going well. The rash all of a sudden went away, but I had very, 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 very dry skin. My skin was very dry. I figured that it was my asthma, I mean my acne, eczema flaring up. And, you know, it's, my skin was just really dry. I also have to know I could not stand vegetables. My sons, both sons, I love to eat some vegetables. But with the, this pregnancy, I did not like vegetables. Like, I can taste if there was any vegetable in something like it. It was absolutely disgusting. The pregnancy was going great. But I noticed as I got bigger, I was having a hard time breathing. I dislocated my shoulder, which caused me to have to go to my uh, ortho for my shoulder. Because my body was so loose still. Um, he took me off of work. And I was going to have surgery after my um, delivery with my baby. So I was taken off of work. And I just remember I just loved sweets. I loved all types of stuff. But I was getting very big. And my breathing was getting so much worse, like, I was taking my inhaler all the time. I remember just trying to walk up the stairs with my son, because he was one at the time. And just having to close my eyes and push myself to get upstairs. And we only had like four or five steps and it was just so hard. I couldn't wait to sit down. I, it was bad. So around 32, I was 32 weeks. I remember having a baby shower. And having to do a skin with this baby shower. I remember after the skin I was so tired. Like I was so out of breath. And, but I was through and I knew that I had to go to a graduation party afterwards. So I was like this week was a hard week but I was going to push through. And I will be able to like lay down the rest of the time and just do nothing. I remember at the, the graduation, I was so out of breath that, like, it was just so hard, and I remember us leaving, and I just was so out of breath and so tired, and it was so, it was weird. Just remember.
of everywhere I walked I had asthma Every time I walked I was wheezing And it was just Gotten to the point where it was just really bad Like my inhaler just wasn't It wasn't working So I called my, the nurse and I told the nurse that I just My asthma was just really bad and that um, I was hoping that they would just send me a different prescription, um, a higher dose, and I, you know, I thought nothing of it. I was like, they're gonna send me a different script and I'll be okay. But I remember getting the call back and she said she could hear me wheezing on the phone and she was like, no, go right up to the hospital. I was like, oh no. My husband was at work, and I'm like, okay. I remember calling him, and I was like, hey, babe, uh, the doctors want me to go up to the hospital, but it's no rush. I was feeling fine as long as I was laying down. And I was like, it's no rush. When you get home, we'll go to the hospital. Then give me a breathing treatment, and you can come home and get you some sleep. So that was really my plan. Needless to say, when I got there, that was not what was going on. It took some effort to walk in, and I, I told the lady and she can hear me wheezing. So she instantly got me a room. They take the baby. The baby was okay. I remember laying on my side and just being so out of breath. And they said, how do I get relief? And I was like, well... You know, sitting up, I got relief. And so they set me up. And they was like, we're going to do a uh, uh, x-ray. And so I'm like, okay. And I remember standing up and almost falling down because I got instantly dizzy. And so they sent me back up to my room. And I guess I can make all the rapid. Cause the whole team of doctors came in. They all trying to figure out what's going on. And they tried to figure out why my heart rate was so high and why my O2 was around in the 80s and they couldn't figure it out. So I remember somebody said, we have to intubate her. I was like, oh no, cause I've been intubated before. And I remember my mom saying it's going to be okay. My husband at that point called my mom. My mom flew up there. She said it's going to be okay. I'm going to be. And I was like, Mom, please just stay with me. Please pray for the baby. Stay with me. And I remember my mom just having this look. And she's like, it's going to be okay, Shania. And that's my name. She said it's going to be okay. And to... Uh, and all I remember is nothing. I woke up a couple of days later. Well, I guess it was two weeks later. And it was weird. I was, it felt like the room was purple and orange. Uh, everybody looked in orange. And I remember feeling my stomach because... I wasn't feeling my baby kick, and I didn't know what was going on. My mom came in, and she instantly started showing me these pictures of a baby. The baby was inside of an incubator, and had all these tubes and all this other stuff, and it was a really, really fat baby. And she was showing me these pictures and saying, everything is alright, the baby is okay. And I remember just feeling my stomach and being really confused. And I didn't know what she was talking about. I'm like, why? Are, what are you talking about? And she was like, everything's okay. And I fell asleep. So the story that I was told was that while I was in a coma, 
The doctor was trying to, the intern was trying to feed the baby. Something I don't, that part I don't really get. As so out, they was trying to feed the baby some nutrition while I was, I was still intubated. And it went down the wrong hole, so it went to my lungs. I ended up getting an infection. When I got this infection, the baby was like, I was 105 and the baby was trying to get out, so the baby was, Livia had enough. So, she tried to come out and I ended up going into delivery. The doctors, everybody had gathered around. They thought they were going to have to fly me out to a different hospital because they wasn't prepared. But that was, it was happening so fast that they just had to call a meeting and have the delivery team up with the ICU with me. Um, so it was the nurses. Then them no B nurses. It was almost 50 people just going in there. They was going to perform, perform a cesarean. But my husband said, but the risk was that I was going to lose some more blood and that we both won't be, we both may have died. So my dad, my husband, decided to have me do push myself and um, to just save me and if the baby survived that was gonna be great but he wanted me alive and so they all came out they turned the, the medication down and just like God have made us I began to push I was, I was, I don't remember any of this, but I pushed, I pushed the baby out, and then I went down, I was done, and I went back into a coma, and the baby, the nurses came, took the baby, they said the baby was great, um, Olivia, she wasn't breathing, her heart was, Bumping really slow, so they did CBR on her and brought her back. She started crying, and everybody was like applauding, applauding, like they all was clapping, and it was just amazing. And there was a team of nurses that went to the baby, and a team of nurses that came to me, and we both survived. <laughs> After I was um, taken off and uh, they took the tubes and stuff out, I felt like it was kind of weird. Every time I drank, I had to drink really, really, really fast or I would choke. So I think there was damage done before when uh, the tubes was taken out or when they was put in I uh, felt like I was gonna choke and that's what um but I was determined to see my daughter and I was determined to get out of the hospital so there you go that was my delivery and I hope you guys if you guys have any questions Make a comment down below um, if there's anything that I left out. I will make another video, but thank you all for listening and bye.